ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈತೋಷಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಠುದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ್ವಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಂ ಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನು ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರಿ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭಷೀತ ಬಾಮಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗಿ ಸಜಸ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
अमेधपूर्णे कृमिकीट संकुले स्वभाव दुर्गंधि विनिंदितांतरे कले वरे मुत्यपुरीश भाविते रमंति मूड़ा विरमंति पंडिता अमेधपूर्णे कृमिकीट संकुले अमेधपूर्णे कृमिकीट संकुले स्वभाव दुर्गंधि विनिंदितांतरे कले वरे मुत्रे पुरीश भाविते रमंति मूरा विरमंति पंडिता गौरीय गोष्ठी पोते सिसिल भक्ति शिद्धांत सरस्वती गोष्ठी जगत पहुँचात परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड व्हेन माय आईज डोंट लाइक टू से एनीथिंग मैटेरियल व्हेन माय ईयर डोंट लाइक टू हियर एनीथिंग मैटेरियल when my eyes never like to see anything material, when my tongue reject to speak anything material, I mean when all sense organ, I mean when all sense organ, you are going to withdraw from material thing by the mercy of Guru Padma, then and only then you can think of Hari Bhajan, not before that. Only and only then you can think about Hari Bhajan. If your eye is going somewhere else to see, take the test of material beauty. When a ear like to hear something material thing, when your tongue like to speak all material thing, all sense organ like to gain enjoyment, sensual gratification. Up to that point, Hari Bhajan is impossible. I mean, after anartha gone, I mean, after anartha gone, then we can think about Hari Bhajan, not before that. We can think after anartha gone. Sila Sachidananda Bhaktivinu Thakur, Sila Sachidananda Bhaktivinu Thakur speaking, many people taking Harinam, many people doing Tilak, doing Tulusi Mala, chanting Harinam, staying in Dham or going to Dham for circumvalence, Parikram, they are doing. They are taking prasadam. At least they think so, that we are taking prasadam. But why there is so much disparity? If they are going to do Hari Bhajan, they claim that they have taken shelter, they claim that they have taken shelter on the lotus feet of Sadguru. They have taken Harinam, they are doing Harinam, Annik. They are going for Mandir Parikram or Dham Parikram, fasting on Ekadashi day or everything they are doing. Then why we are going to see so much disparity, deviation? Srila Sachidan Bhakti Mataka speaking, Actually, they are not going to understand. They are not going to realize, they are not going to understand that they are doing some aparat knowingly or knowingly. Sometimes knowingly, sometimes unknowingly, they are doing aparat. And due to this aparat, they cannot make progress in their bhajan. Always they are making some aparat, they are doing bhajan. But at the same time, doing some aparad, knowingly and unknowingly. Vaishnava aparad, Nama aparad, Dhamma aparad. Different kind of aparads they are committing. That's why they cannot make, uh, you know, proper progress. They cannot make progress in the way of bhajan. So, Bhakti Murata was suggesting, before doing Hari Bhajan, we must be aware about Ten types of Dasavida Namapurat or different kind of Seva Purat, Namapurat, all we should understand. Seva Purat, Namapurat, Vaishnava, all, all. And Namapurat, under Namapurat, Vaishnava Purat also coming. Guru Purat, Guru Bhag, Guru Bhag, Avagha. But still, I am analytically speaking. All we must be very aware about that. 
we must be very careful about that. Otherwise, we cannot make a proper progress in the way of. It's big problem. This way, Bhakti Mita was suggesting. First of all, we go, we we should try to understand what is aparad, how to avoid aparad. After that, we can do hari bhajan. Then we can do something hari bhajan. Different kind of Vaishnava aparad, nama aparad, dhamma aparad. We are staying Vaishnava aparad. All is one kind of impediments in the way of our Hari Bhajan. That's why Prabhupada Saraswati was writing Bhakti Pat Iho Kanta Kakoti Ruddho. Bhakti Pat Iho Kanta Kakoti Ruddho. Ha ha ka jami ki maham karomi chaitanya chanda yudhi nadam ki pam karusi. The way of Hari Bhajan is full of throne. You cannot believe actually how alert pure Guru Vaishnav, how they are alert, how they are alert, you cannot realize how alert they are. I mean their alertness automatically, they are growing this kind of. Not that they you know, like bonded soul. Automatically, it is their habitual. Any situation coming, anything happening, any Siddhanta which are, they automatically as if somebody is going to inform, I mean Bhagavan is going to inform them. You should do it. Otherwise, Aparat. You should do this way. They are fighting this way, you can go this way. So they cannot do anything. So all di different kind of ideas, Siddhanta, Bichar, protection given by Bhagavan. So Bhaktipat iho kanta ka koti ruddho ha ha ka jami ki maham karomi Chaitanya Chandra Yudhi Nadam Kipam Karoshi. The best way, the best way is to adopt Trinadu Vibhav. Best way. Because when I am successful to get established in Trinadu Vibhav, automatically most of the Aparath can go away. Cannot stand. Major problem. Major problem coming from this Trinadavi Sunisha. Because we are not Trinadavi. Major, all major, all problem, most of the problem coming from the one single point. That is, we are not Trinadavi. We have not Trinadavi Vibhav. If Trinadavi Vibhav there, most of the problem we can avoid, most of the problem. And then we can realize Hari Bhajan. Because if you are not going to test, if you are not, if you are not going to get the test of Hari Bhajan, till then you are busy to find fault with others. Follow. When you are yourself going to get the test of Hari Bhajan, satisfaction, you are getting test, na? Then uh, your you know your mind, your inter you know, cannot travel outside. Automatically it can. It's an automatic factor. Automatically. You will have to look inside your heart what all dirty things, what all material desire or karma there. Many times I told, if karma is there, if karma is there inside heart, that is called contamination. When karma is there inside heart, that is called contamination. Free of karma means no contamination. So pure sadhu, guru, Vishnu, they have no karma. That's why they have direct link with Bhagavan, Vaikuntha Jagat. You can try to realize they have direct connection with Vaikuntha Jagat. They have no, they are staying here. They are staying here, but actually they are connection with that Vaikuntha Jagat, that's why Continuously they are in touch with Bhagavan, Bhagavad Leela, Katha, Kirtan, everything. And according to the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one must do Sankirtan all the time. Jagadananda Pandit also, Jagadananda Pandit, the eternal Prasad of Mahaprabhu also told. Boy, those who are 
Vaishnava, they should do Hari Sankirtan all the time. Or at all any seva, anything they are doing, but, but together with Sankirtan, inside Sankirtan, Nam can go on. They cannot stop. Non-stop Hari Nam should go. Go on. Anyway, our total society we can divide into almost two part. Two part. Krishna Bhakta Bhavet Daivo Asurastad Vipar Jaya. Krishna Bhakta, they are Daivo Bhav. Those who are Krishna Bhakta, they have Daivo Bhav. Daivo Bhav means their qualities are very fine qualities. Dirty conception, not they are nothing. And those who are Asura, their conception was always dirty. They are full of enjoying mood. They are full of enjoying mood. Full of enjoying mood means demon. Full of enjoying mood means demon. Or more more tamaguna, because asura, they are rajaguna predom predominating, rajaguna predominating factor, tamaguna also there, there's a asura. And those who are tamaguna predominating, predominating factor, rajaguna there, and satuguna very, very less. It's called rakshas. Those who are tamaguna predominating factor, very high. And rajaguna there also. Uh, Satoguna very, very, a very, a few, very few drop of Satoguna. That is called Rakshas. Well, no, totally, we can divide into two parts as per Sastra. Vishnu Bhakta Bhavet Daivo Asura Stat Vipar Jaya. Vishnu Bhakta Bhavet, those who are Vishnu Bhakta in true sense, those who are, those who are actually Vishnu Bhakta Bhavet Daivo, Bhavet Daivo, Vidilingo. They must be Shataguna Bhav, Daiva Bhav, Daivi Bhav. And those who are just opposite, they are Asura. They are always enjoying mood. Follow. They are always with enjoying mood. Guru Vaishnava arranged so many spiritual or spiritual, you know. Procedure to do Hari Bhajan. Like Dham Parikrama, staying in temple, they are always arranging Sankirtan, exhibition, so many things. Even Popat wanted to open Vishnu Priya Palli here, near Jogopit. Wanted to open Vishnu Priya Palli, where all Matajis they can stay, nobody can disturb them. They can do bhajan. Here also another, another ashram there. On behalf of Bhagavad Gauriya Mat, they are making. Prabhupada wanted to start one very fresh, so that Matajis, they can stay there, do bhajan nicely. But after some time, after some years, Prabhupada, oh my God, because you cannot hide your nature. You cannot hide your nature. Kalyanag speaking in front of Krishna. Kalyanag finally when going to submit unto the lotus feet of Krishna with folded hand. Krishna, what to do? Shabhava dusta janad is asadgraha. Kalyo speaking, lamenting and speaking in front of Krishna, what to do, Prabhu? Shabhava dusta janad, jad asad graha. Like bad star position, like Saturn, by Saturn or, or other, you know, bad, going to put you in trouble. So you are like my crazy man. What to do? Same thing. Kalyanak speaking. One cannot just avoid his own nature. Somehow, if somehow, if you like to hide nature, but anyhow, according to time and situation, that the, that the dirty, you know, nature can exp can be exposed automatically, no worry. But, but you can avoid dirty nature 
provided you are hundred percent inclined unto the lotus feet of the pure Goswami. Because in that case, your nature can be controlled by Guru Vaishnava, remote control, provided you are hundred percent inclined. If there is shortage of inclination, then you are going to reserve your personal right. If you are not 100% inclined, that's when you are 50%, maybe 70%, 30%, and the rest you are going to keep all your you know, controlling power in your own hand. Whereas you are bonded soul, your heart is dirty, everything. So anywhere you go, say, situation, how long people can hide? Big problem. That's why Prabhupada was crying. I wanted to arrange Vishnu Piyah Palli where all Matajis can stay, do bhajan, those who, Oh my God! After some day, Prabhupada discovered so many problems. So many problems. Fighting among themselves, from outside men uh, secretly going there, all very problem. So Maya, really, really, Maya impossible. Impossible. And the sloka I started with, if you can realize this slok, then you can eliminate all your mental grievance relating to your body and mind. I am sure about it. Amitya Purne Krimikito Sankule Shabhava Durgandi Vinindi Tantare Kale Vare Mutte Purisha Bhavite Ramanti Mura Biramanti Pandita. A sloka, it is written, this body is nothing but a sack of blood and flesh, urine and stool. I am in Vyasasan, I touch Tulsi Devi, I, ha I hate my body. Every day I speak slag language to my body. Every day. Because I need to waste time for going to bathroom, this, that, take rest, I have to take prasadam. I become paid up. Every day. Not even a single day I drop. Every day. I'm speaking slag language. I hate my body. How I can do bhajan with this body? It's true. Because I can realize it's full of blood and flesh, stool and urine. A sack. Very bad smell. Very bad smell. If a man is going to die, within one and a half, one day, it can start spoiling and bad smell can go around. This is the status of my body. What kind of enjoyment I can think with this body? At all any enjoyment possible or not? Even I know the case, dead body of a beautiful woman, Dead body in the crematorium gown. Somehow, one man was attracted. Big problem, it came in newspaper. So, we should not believe our bonded. We should not believe our, you know, this mind, material mind, material intellect. We cannot believe. Anytime, you know, it can betray. Anytime, it can betray. So, only day and night we, may, we can show submission unto the Lotus of Guru Vaishnava to save ourselves. Raghunath Goswami, Raghunath Goswami writing the same thing. When you are feeling karma, when any kind of problem, then you can start calling, Ho Roop, Ho Raghunath, you know, you can start calling. Sanatan, Jiva Goswami, all Vaishnavas. It is written. Raghunath Das Goswami, Manasikha, you can. Manasikha, you can go. You can find. You can call. I am helpless. You save me, hope, hope, Adya, Bhakti, Thakur. So, purity of mind is a very vital thing regarding your bhajan. Otherwise, Hari bhajan is impossible. Hari bhajan is impossible. Not possible. Anyway, so today is a <coughs> appearance day of Sri Bhagavan Barahadev, Baraha Bhagavan. 
केशवधीत सुकर रूप जय जगदीश हरि भगवान हरि कमिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बीस्ट बार डिफरेंट ह्यूमन बीइंग एन ए डिफरेंट फॉर्म भगवान कमिंग इवन एक्वाटिक एलिमेंट एलिमेंट भगवान टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ फिश भगवान टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ फिश भगवान टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ बड़ा हा भगवान टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ निशिंग भगवान टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ यू नो डिफरेंट क्षत्रिय ब्राह्मण और यू नो ऑल्सो भगवान टुक बहुत देयर इन एज ए डिमी गॉड्स बामन देव इज ए यंगर ब्रदर ऑफ इंद्र महाराज सो भगवान कमिंग ये भी है टू शो दैट आई एम विथ यू वाई यू आर थिंकिंग सम बॉडी कैन से सम बीस्ट एंड बर्ड दे कैन से भगवान नॉट कमिंग इन आवर यू नो सो भगवान गोइंग टू शो दैट आई एम देर नो प्रॉब्लम एवरीवेयर आई एम बट इन वॉट इन वॉट एवर फ्रॉम भगवान कमिंग भगवान इज भगवान He is not Sachidananda Roop, not going to be destroyed, not going to be de destroyed or dis distorted. Not, not that. Bhagwan Kamini. So now we can discuss some very vital Siddhanta point. Though time is very limited, from different angle we have the scope to discuss. First point is that why Baraha Bhagwan came. What was the reason? First of all, we like to get answer because Maitreya Muni is speaking in front of Vidurji Maharaj. Maitreya Muni asking why Varahudev came. I Vidurji uh, Maharaj asking why Varahudev came. Then Maitreya Muni is speaking. Actually, there was some case. Hiranak Hiranak Shivu. we must know the identity hiranyu ka haranyu hiranyu ko sibu where from they are coming why they are coming that is the main so actually point is that there is in short i am speaking not in details in vaikuntha somebody say rama vaikuntha there is two parshad of bhagwan जय विजय आवार सनकादि मुनि सनंद सनातन सनत कुमार आदि जो फोर सन्स ऑफ ब्रह्मा दे वांटेड टू गो टू वैकुंठ टू मीट विथ भगवान बट जय विजय नॉट गोइंग टू अलाउ देम जय विजय नॉट गोइंग टू अलाउ देम दैट वाज द मेन प्रॉब्लम and our chatushan speaking why you are going to stop us with danda because in because in you should know in boykunto who can come first point boykunto in boykunto who can come ordinary man cannot come to boykunto so we come here you think some uh, something else going to stop us with the danda Follow. In that case, Chaturshan going to give cards to Jai Vijay. In very short, I am going to discuss. And according to their cards, they are bound to come back. They are going to not come back. They are actually we can't do part so that I cannot speak that way. They are bound to fall down. Also fall down, I cannot speak. But still, I will have to speak to make you understand. they are they are bound to come here in this material world to take birth as demon hello in the form of demon hiranyaka hiranyakashipu kashyap aditi diti 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 i mean the wife of kashyap muni Diti and Aditi, both of them daughter of Daksha Pujapati. Daksha, but not in this form. Daksha Pujapati again take birth. Then follow. 
Anyway, so point is that when somebody going to Vaikuntha, there is no possibility to fall down. There is no possibility of fall down. Then question is there, why they are fall down? First question can come. Because when somebody going to reach Vaikuntha, it is written in Gita, Yad gatya na nivartante tadhyamam paramam mana. Yad gatya. After reaching Vaikuntha, there is no possibility that you can fall down. Then why fall down case? Why this kind of fall down case we discover with Jaya Vidya? That is the main question. This answer we can get. Long discussion, by short I can speak. Finally when... Finally, when Chatushan going to, you know, going to, uh, you know, going to lament, you know, that why we are going to curse, then Bhagavan speaking, I myself, your cursing, why are you are going to curse, that is according to my desire. Bhagavan speaking. It is written in Bhagavatam. Mayaiva Anumodita. It is approved by me. Bhagavan speaking, your cars is according to my desire. Well, why? Because Bhagavan is always complete, but still, sometimes Bhagavan likes to play some Leela. What is the Leela? Bhagavan wanted to, wanted to get Bir Rasa. Bir Rasa, you know. Bir rasa fighting. Bhagavan wanted to get Bir rasa. So, though Bhagavan is complete, there is no question of any dissatisfaction in the life of Bhagavan. But still, sometimes this kind of uh, game Bhagavan playing. Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan wanted to fight with, with somebody who is, as, who is very powerful. But in the material world, anywhere you go, you cannot find that kind of powerful man. So Jai Bujai, his own parsad, Jai Bujai, own parsad. So I like to motivate them by giving curse. They fall down. They are coming with negative mood to fight with Bhagavan. Follow. Purposely, Bhagavan, you know, Bhagavan going to curse them. Bhagavan going to curse them in the form of Sananda, Sanatun, Sanatva, Chutusan. At the same time, they are going to externally, externally they are going to fall down here yeah, and going to enter the womb of Diti. Diti. And they are taking birth in the form of in the form of Hiranaka, Hiranakashibu. Hiranaka, Hiranakashibu. If there is no negative mood, if there is no negative mood, then they cannot fight with Bhagavan. To fight with somebody, to fight with somebody, you need negative mood. I can speak one, uh, one small incident. Uh, it happened in Spain or some country. Follow. One family case. I mean, father, very powerful, is a big fighter. But father, somehow, gone, leaving the small boy and his wife, leaving, gone to some place. So, someday, actually, the boy, grown up, after that, asking, where is my father? Then mother speaking, she is going to, he is going to leave me and go on there. I don't know why he is not coming, he is going to leave me. This way, finally, the boy wanted to meet with father, but not openly. Not openly. Follow. There, in Spain, there was an arrangement, beast fighting, man-man fighting, animal and man fighting, Spain. There was that, on those days, Greek, Spain. That time of fighting. People used to enjoy. One lion and one man fighting. They like to enjoy. So much money they are spending. Still today, there. 
So, on behalf of king, it was announced that this man going to fight with somebody who think himself matching. And I can give big donation. So, fighting going on. We showed. We showed. So, the, the son, without information, he is not going to inform father, I am your son. That son going to fight with father. In the open field, and all audience there, follow. Now, father going to fight with son, mercilessly, whereas son, he has idea, is my father, how I can kill? This weakness, no? Is my father. So, he is fighting, he is very powerful, but he is fighting, but with very, in such a way, so that, by chance, father, you know, I am going to, then father can kill. This way, ultimately, the son was killed by father. But while killing, he started father killing. Then the father thinking that it's just looking like me, is maybe my, then after that going and getting the identity. Then going to know you are my son, I am your, you are my father. A pathetic situation. So when Joy Bijoy is going to fall down, fall down also I cannot say, because fall down is not possible. So what is the case? If fall down is not possible, but externally we find they are, fall, they are coming down, taking the taking birth as a Hiranyaka, Hiranyaka. So how you can justify? Srila Vishwana Chakodhi was speaking, that Vaikuntha Parshat, they have all anima, logima, prakima, kamo, all jog vivuti. So their fall down, their, their fall down is not like ordinary man. By their desire, Bhagavan, they are coming, they are taking very fine form, very fine form. Because jogic vivuti, those who are having jogic vivuti power, they can take the form of dust particle, like Hanumanji Maharaj. Hanumanji Maharaj, when crossing the ocean, Hanumanji Maharaj in Raman, from Raman I'm speaking, when Hanumanji Maharaj is going to cross the ocean by jumping, after entering, he likes to meet with Sita Devi. She is confined by Ravan in Ashoka forest. So how to go? Everywhere all, you know, so, Rakshash, so Hanumanji took the form of a fly. Took the form of a fly and cha, going and speaking in ear, Ma, Mother, I am, my name is Haruna Marut, Marut, Marut Nandan. Marut Nandan. My name is eh, Maruti Nandan. So, my name is Hanuman, I am coming. After that, in front of Sita Devi, going to show the ring, one ring of Ramchandra. So the Sita Devi can confirm that he is a messenger of Ramchandra. So going the ring to Mahatma. Ma, I am coming from Ramji, Bhagavan Ram. So he is my identity. Follow this way. So it is possible. Don't demigods also coming somewhere, flying here and there but in fine form. Nobody can see. So, joy be joy, taking the form of a dust particle, that like one sperm ejected from father to mother's womb. So, they are entering into home, and this way, they are taking birth. They are taking birth in this way. That one is Hiranyaka Hiranyaka Shivu. Hiranyaka Shivu is the elder brother. Hiranyaka is the younger brother. Uh, Hiranyaka is the younger brother. Uh, uh, Hiranyaka Shivu is the elder brother. Though Hiranyaka took birth first. That day I was speaking, no? Hiranyaka took birth first. Second, actually, Hiranyaka Shivu coming. But still, the fertilization took place inside the womb. First was Hiran, Hiranyakashibu, then Hiranyakashibu. 
So naturally when coming out, younger brother first coming, elder brother. This way two brother, they are demonic character by the desire of Bhagavan. Always they are searching, matching, always they are searching, matching fighter with whom they like to enjoy, you know, beer rasa, nowhere fighting. They like to fight. They are going to Barun Loka. Hey, I heard you are very powerful. I like to fight with you. Follow. Very powerful. Going here and there. Hey, you can, you can fight with me. I like to fight. My hand actually there is a scabies. I like to fight. Like Banasu. Oh, so many hands. So powerful I am. I like to fight. But there is no matching fighter. So he is speaking to Gurudev. Uh, my, I mean, Ishwadev. Um, Bhagavan Sankar. I find nobody matching like you, with whom I can fight. Oh, idiot! You like to fight with me, huh? Eh? By the desire, by the blessing of you know, Shankar is getting so many hands. Now Shankar Bhagavan says, "Well, well, you like to fight with me, acha? You can get satisfaction very shortly. Very shortly, you can get sir. Where, 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 where? For some day, matching you can find. Then." When meeting with Bhagavan Sri Krishna, I am not going in details. What happens? Bhagavan is going to cut all hand, all hand. Like banana tree. One cutter, banana tree, catch, banana tree, fall down. All hands gone. Finally, when all hands Bhagavan is going to cut, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, Prabhu is my devotee. He, he loves me, please don't kill. Bhagavan says, anyway, I am not going to kill. Because he has taken birth in the family race of Prahlad. So I, I am not going to kill him, but I am going to give his punishment so that he can, he, he can avoid false ego. Only four hands there, finally. This way, Joy Bujo searching. Finally, they are getting info, Naraji, they are getting information from Naraji. They are asking, Hiranyaka asking, uh, I heard Bhagavan is Maya Maya, full of Maya, and is very powerful. So I like to fight. Can you give any information about the whereabout of Bhagavan? Then uh, Naraji, well, now Bhagavan going to Rasatal to deliver the earth. Oh, really? Then he's going to, with a with club, reach Rasatal, and going to sin. Going to see Bhagavan with two teeth, teeth, you know. Going to catch the earth and going to, hey, live. What kind of peculiar structure, you know. Beast, beast, sure, boar. Hey, live. Brahma has given donation. This earth is our property. Why you are taking, huh? Brahma has given, this is our property. Brahma. Make and give to us. If you are not going to obey me, then I can kill you. Bhagavan not giving answer. Bhagavan gradually coming out of water, going to keep, going to keep set the art, set the art in the space out of water. Shatagun by the adhisthana. Shatagun is very fine. So by the adhisthana of Shatagun. Bhagavan is going to set the earth in the space. After that, so many problems. Now here another point, very important point. Common people, even those who are in Bhajan, they have no information about that. That Baraha Avatar two times happened. But in Bhagavatam we find, Bhagavan is going to keep the earth on the space, and set, and after that going to fight. But this is not the case, actually. This is not the case. Actually, first Baraha, he appeared in Shet Baraha Kalpa. Shet Baraha Kalpa Sayambhubu Mannantwar. Don't understand. Those who are matured in Bhajan line, they can understand. Kalpa is Shet Baraha Kalpa, and Mannantwar is Shangbhubu Mannantar, first Mannantar. This case happened. Why? That time Brahma, you know, giving 
instruction to son that you can start creation. But I cannot get creation, there is no art. Art gone under water. Then Pitama Brahma thinking, how is possible? Brahma thinking, how it is possible that the art gone to water? Rasatal? Oh, then how I can deliver art? How I can start creation as per the order of Bhagavan? How I can do? Well, he was thinking this way. In the meantime, from the nasal hole, nasal hole, from nasal hole, one small like mosquito, one baraho coming out, white baraho, like mosquito. Brahma thinking, in the meantime, from nasal, you know, hole, one baraho coming out like mosquito, and after coming out, Brahma says, what is this coming out? After that, gradually increasing, this, 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 increasing. Brahma says, what is this? Who is? Finally, Brahma could realize he is not eh, ordinary as yes, yes, Bhagavan himself. So, in this Sat Shet Baraha Kalpa, in this Shet Baraha Kalpa, there is no creation. Try to understand. In Shet Baraha Kalpa, no creation. So, where from this Hiranaka, Hiranaka Jibu can come? No creation there, na? no question. That is why our Jiva Goswami Path writing or Rupa Goswami giving indication that actually that Baraha two times appeared. One is Shet Baraha Kalpa, Shet Baraha coming out from the nasal hole and going to take the earth and going to keep in space and disappear. Disappear. First, in Mathura, you can find two Baraha. One is white, white Baraha. And one is Shambaraha. Both you can find. A little bit far. Like a zigzag way you have to go there. Follow. So Seth Baraha disappear. And the second Baraha, when came out, it is called actually Swangu uh, Mandanta, this white Baraha. And uh, Chakshush Manantar. In Chakshush Manantar, six Manantar. Chakshush Manantar, there actually, earth gone again inside water. That time Barahadev appear, And that time the fighting between Hiranyakya and Bhagavan took place. So two Baraha Avatar, two Baraha Avatar, Maitramani going to speak one time. Muni going to speak the case at a time. Oh, not going to speak separately. Because Barahavatar, Barahavatar. So, at the time of Hiranyaka, Haranyaka Sivu, where from this white Barahav, much before. Oh, long before. So, from there, Chakshush Manantar. Chakshush Manantar. That time, this Daksha in Shivaratri Tithi, Shivaratri coming, na? then I can discuss. Chakshush Manantar, then Daksha, who wanted to insult Sankar Bhagavan, going to leave body. And again going to take birth as Daksha Prajapati. In Chakshush Mandantar. And Chakshush Mandantar, they are going to, you know, again, same problem happen, going to insult Naraji Maharaj. Follow. Again, going to, because nature is there, na? Nature is there. Though he wanted to beg for pardon in front of Sankar, but still it is written that his heart was not clear. Still then, his heart was not clear. Some sort of jealousy was there. So he took birth as Prachetas Daksha. From him, all Pracheta took birth. 
follow. So many cases, I don't like to speak. And after that, the question of Hiranyaka, Hiranyakasipu, all this coming. Follow. So this is the question, Baraha Bhagavan going to appear as Sham Baraha to deliver art and at that time inside water, inside water, Hiranya Khoku discovered him and the fighting took place, big fighting took place. Big fighting took place. Now I like to go back a little bit to speak about how Hiranyakya Hiranyakasibu took birth. I like to speak first. When Kashabhani doing Hari Bhajan, Kashabhani doing Bhajan, the system is a little bit different. He is doing Bhajan, and Diti going to request him, I like to get child from you. So, Kashyap saying, okay, it's very good. I can arrange, but not now. I am doing bhajan. Now is the time is not appropriate now. But she is not going to obey. Kashyap is advising that this is not a proper time, the evening time. Evening time is a demonic time. Noon time from 12 to 2, 3 is demonic time. Not good. That time, Asura, they are getting power. Evening time is also dangerous. Night time. So, Kashyap uh, uh, requesting you will have to wait. But she is not at all ready to wait. She is not at all ready to wait. She is disturbing. Finally, Kashyap Muni thinking, maybe it is the desire of Bhagavan. Otherwise, I am giving... I am giving so much, you know, advice, but she is not going to obey. Maybe it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. When Diti is not going to obey anything, I want now. Then Kasumini, okay, leaving bhajan. After that, after that, <coughs> invocation. After that, Kasumini is going to take bath in, in river and chanting Gayatri Mantra to purify himself. Bhagavan, excuse me, this is a, maybe it is, a, it is your arrangement. Otherwise, why? This kind of you know, force she is going to apply on me. After that, Diti was feeling shy. And Kashyap is speaking, you are not going to obey my advice. You are going to violate my instruction. And due to this inauspicious time, your two sons can take birth, but they will be demon. Then Diti, Diti was very afraid. Diti was very afraid. Why? No, because you are not going to obey me. They are taking birth as a demon, very dangerous. They can make create so many problems all over the creation. Finally, they will have to die. Then Diti crying, okay, if at all they are going to die, uh, then you, they can, you can bless that they can die, they can, Bhagavan can kill them. You can. At least Brahman, if they are going to give cards, if Brahmanas, Brahman, Vaishnavas, they are going to cards, then the situation is very dangerous. So you please arrange at least, no, they, at least they can be killed, they can be killed by Bhagavan. Well, okay, that will be. After that, Diti going to protect his womb for, the, for at least 100 years, which is impossible. Diti thinking, when, if we are, well, if they are going to take birth immediately, then after birth they can create problem. So better they can stay inside my womb. For hundred years, Diti is going to protect the womb. All sun god, moon god, all demigods, they are, they are feeling fear. 
because of the because of the effulgence coming from the womb of Diti, going to make some terror, fear. So all demigods they are praying to Brahma. What happens, Prabhu? Why this kind of situation happening? Brahma is saying, well, Diti going to protect her womb, and there are two demons there. That's why this kind. They are very powerful. That's why this kind of. Finally, Diti was bound to give birth to songs, and they are going up. After that, this kind of creation, as you already told, they are fighting with, you know, they are fighting with Bara Bhagavan. And there also, I told in the beginning, the Chotushan, when wanted to, re wanted to reach Vaikuntha Jagat, first gate, second gate, they wanted to enter, but then Jai Vijay wanted to stop them. They were not allowed to get entry into Vaikuntha, you know, to take darshan of Bhagavan. So this kind of cars, you know, is going to give cars, going to give cars. After that, when the altercation taking place, when, the, when they are going to give cars to this, you know, Jai Vijay, the Jai Vijay started crying. They takes, you know, they have fall down in the you know, ground and catching the lotus feet of Chatushan. Please excuse some problem, you know. Somehow we have done mistake. For that you cannot give so heavy punishment. In the meantime, in the meantime, Chatushan discovered that Bhagavan coming in front of devotee, I mean Chatushan, with Lakshmi. Here one very point, vital point, Chatushan was not devotee first. Chatushan, they were not devotee. Day by day when they are hearing from Brahma, finally they were very much interested to start bhajan. Follow. Finally they took decision to do bhajan. Now they become Vaishnava. But first of all, when they started bhajan, they used to do impersonal Brahma. One, oh, you know, this. They used to worship. Finally, when Bhagavan coming with Lakshmi Devi in front of them, they are very much happy, very impressed to see and paying Dandavat. There it is written one slow. Tashyarabindo nanasya padarabindo kinjalko misya tulasi kinjalko tulasi ena kinjalko misya tulasi da makarandha vayu. Shantargata antargata ha sa vivarena chakara tesham akshara jusham upi chitta tono. What? Tashyarabindo nanasya padarabindo Kinjal Kamisha Tulusi Makaranda Bayu Antar Gataha Sabivarena Chakar Tesham Akshara Jusamu Pichitotan. Very important. Slow. When Bhagavan coming in front of them, Chatusan simply going to get the smell of all Tulusi, Chandan, Agaru, all offered by devotees, na? Is there in the lotus feet of Bhagavan? Narayan. When they are going, Bhagavan coming, they are getting the smell of Bhagavan. I mean all Tulsi, Chandan, everything. So, by the application of your nose, you can do bhajan. Cannot do bhajan? Even by the application of your nose, you can do bhajan. Properly? Whereas, you are going to take the smell of dupa, deepa already offered to Bhagavan, is prasadam, you can take. But not with enjoying mood, serving mood. Then it can give you bhakti. So by the application of your ear, by the application of your nose, by the application of eyes, by the application of your touching organ, skin, all you can. That's why I told many times, that 
Ambarish Maharaj was speaking. Ambarish Maharaj was speaking, na? All sense organs. Ambarish Maharaj going to apply for Hari Bhajan. Ambarish Maharaj going to apply all sense organs in Hari Bhajan. All. It's possible. But bonded soul even cannot engage any one sense organ. But Ambarish Maharaj starting, Shabai Mano, Shabai Mano Krishna Padar Vindayor, Bachang Si Vaikun to Gunanu Varnani, Shutin Chakar Chutuzat Kathu Dei, Karutat Tan Mandira Marjana Dishu, Shutim Chakar Chutuzat Kathu Dei, Mukunda Lingale Darshan is show, Tadbito Gatus, Tadbito. Gattu sparse anga sangamam. Follow. Shabai manu. First of all, Ambarishma are going to speak about mind. Because if you are going to apply all your sense organs in your bhajan, suppose you like to engage all your sense organs in your bhajan, hari bhajan, but your mind is off. Suppose, you are doing all, or by you are applying every all, but your mind is off. In that case, no bhajan can be there. That's why Parikit, about Parikit Maharaj, that's why about Parikit Maharaj it is written, Shabai Mano Krishna Padara Vindayo, Bachang Si Vaikun to Gunanu Mardane, Karautar Mindira Marjuna Disu, Sutin Chakaru Chutrat Kathodaye, Mukunda Lingala Darshana Dishou, Tadbhitya gattu sparsya anga sangamam all. There's two legs, khetra padanu sarpane, for circumvalence, parikram, leg, hand, mandir cleaning, mind, think Bhagavan, eyes looking Bhagavan, ear hearing of Bhagavan, nose taking the smell of Bhagavan, Chelsea Chandan, everything. Tongue, taking prasadam or speaking harikatha, all, all sense organs. So, it is written, Tashyaravinda nanasya padaravinda kinjal kumisya tulusi makaranda vayu. Eh? After that, it is written that by nasal shakshan, I mean from Chatushan going to take Tashyaravinda nanasya. Padar Bindo, Kinjal Kamisha Tulusi, Makaranda Bayu, Shantar Gataha, eh, Bivarena Chakaro Desham, Akshara Jusham Pichit Totono. I mean, previously they were busy with Akshar, Akshar, one Akshar, Brahma Akshar, oh, that, previously. But now, after getting smell, after hearing so many. Uh, Harikatha from Brahma, they like to reach that place and finally again to get smell and they are feeling some reaction by taking the smell from the lotus feet of Bhagavan, Chandan, Tulsi, Agaru, all coming. Then they are feeling very happy. Reaction. Reaction means bhakti. Reaction means bhakti. Now here question is there. Bhagavan coming here. Chotushan going to beg for pardon. Bhagavan, we have done wrong. This way uh, we curse. Bhagavan speaking, no, it is not your fault. It is as per my desire. It is as per my desire. I arrange. After that, Chotushan cannot withdraw because one curse going, curse cannot be taken up. And Bhagavan at the same time speaking to Jai Vijay. So, well, no problem, don't worry, don't take any trouble. You go, finally you can come back to me. But one point, if you like to come back to me with favorable mood, it will take seven births. But if you like to come with negative mood, Come back, and uh, you have, if you are going to do dealing with me 
with negative mood, then you can come back within three words. So they like to come back very quickly. That's why Hiranyakyo Hiranyakushibu, Ravan Kumbhakarno are what? Actually, Shishupal Dantubarko. Follow. Dantubarko. Huh? Jagai Madhe after, it is exclusive. Jagai Madhe exclusive. And Kongso actually Kaji, I can discuss after. It is exclusive. Bhagavan wanted to give them prema. So, so anyway, so this way Bhagavan wanted to, Bhagavan approved. Bhagavan approved they are going to this material world to take birth in the form of Hiranyaka Harin Kusivu or their approval. Ravan Kunvakarno. So Bhagavan wanted to get the taste of Bira Rasa because Bira Rasa everywhere not possible. For Bira Rasa everywhere not possible. That's why Bhagavan purposely arranged them to come here. And I already told the story, you can remember. Already told one story, father and son. So the son cannot attack father because he has sense of relation. He's my father. But father having no idea, a son, that's why he's very. So this same thing happened. When Joy Vijay coming, Joy Vijay coming here in the form of Hiranyaka Hiranyakashibu. Hiranyakashibu we already discussed, we are discussing at the time of Nishinga Chaudhushi. Anyway, so both of them taking negative mood to come out successful because Naraji speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj. Kenu Pupayam, Kenu Pupayena Manaha Krishna Niveshayat. Somehow you have to concentrate your mind onto a lotus feet of Krishna to get delivered. But that doesn't mean we devotee, we can also try to follow Hiranyaka Hiranyakasi. Naraji Maharaj in common Siddhanta speaking. Naraji Maharaj speaking common Siddhanta. Actually, Somehow, by hook and crook, you will have to concentrate your mind onto a lotus feet of Bhagavan. Kongso also. Kongso. With fighting mood, enmity. With the mood of jealousy and enmity. They are always thinking. But everywhere, everywhere, Kongso is going to take bath in water. In water, we are watching the Krishna. Oh, in water. Follow everywhere. So, whenever eating, sitting, sleeping, whatever, enmity is such a thing, try to understand. Enmity is such a thing which can never be forgotten. Which can never be forgotten. Enmity. Follow. Enmity is such a thing, in Shastra it is written, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, Shivarati day maybe you can discuss. With Devi. Shankar Bhagavan speaking, well, Devi, if somebody is going to attack with streak or, you know, kata, okay, maybe you can uh, cut and blood come, we can pain. But when somebody is going to attack with speech, word so heavy, which is more dangerous, who is going to make some problem inside heart, heavy speech, you know? Heavy speech when going to speak all rubbish, then it's going to make some problem inside heart. That problem, Shankar Bhagavan speaking to Devi. This way we know, Bhagavan speaking, if you like to come back within three words, consecutively three words, then you will have to follow negative way. I mean, uh, with uh, enmity. And a positive way, it will take seven or eight. So what do you fancy? Oh, say, oh, we like to come back quickly, okay. Then you have to go. No problem, don't fear. I can come, you, I can bring you back. Then Hiranak, Hiranmakasukarmi. Follow? So Hiranakho now going to chase Baraha Bhagavan, Krishna Baraha. Actually, fighting took place between Krishna Baraha and Hiranak, not with white Baraha. And anyway, Baraha Dev is Yogyamurti. 
Anyway, Baraha Dev is Jagya Murti. Anyway, Baraha Dev is Jagya Murti. You can ask why. Then I have to speak in details. When Baraha Bhagavan coming out of water and you know sugging hair this way, then all water from you know far, you know there is Baraha far na. There is a horse Baraha, you know. Then this, then all different kind far from head and body, going to fall down on ground and going to create kush and kas. Kush, you know? You don't know kush? We are going to use a, you know, one special asan, which is very pure. You know, with stick, you know? You have seen? I was sitting in, uh, in Jagya, when I was doing Jagya. That is called kushasan, very pure. So, when far coming out from the head of Barahadev, it taking the form of kush and kash. Without kush and kash, jagya is not possible. So Baraha Bhagavan is jagya avatar. Baraha Bhagavan is jagya avatar in Shastra. Rupa Goswami is also writing. Jiva Goswami is also writing. Sometimes you can find Baraha with two legs. Two legs. Two leg, like human, and two hand. Just like Nishinga there, just the face is Nishinga, the whole body is like man. So, ni baraho. Try to realize. Sometimes you can find ni baraho. Mane man, half man, but the face is baraho. That is established by our Keshokusi Maharaj. You can go. Devananda Guri. White baraho. It's a nibraha. Leg is like, you know, okay, but face is like baraha, whole body like human being. It's called nibraha. So in different form, those devotees, they are worshipping in all different form anyway. So according to their bhakti, Bhagavan appear. Like in Parikama Khandra, I already told, they are in Kolodip. In Kolodip, Kol mean baraha. In the name of Barahadev, the name of this you know, deep is Kolodip. It is called Aparad Bhanyan part. One Brahman, whole day and night used to worship Bhagavan with Ganga water and to say, Oh Bhagavan. Then someday, Baraha Bhagavan appear in front of, in Parikrama Khanda you can find, Bhakti Mutra writing. Parikrama book you can find. So the, by the devotional you know, apple of that Brahman, Bhagavan was bound to come in front of Barahadev. And he is going to offer Tulsi and Ganga Chan to Lotus Feet, Pray, Tanavad, Prabhu, you come. It's very. This way, Bhagavan can appear in front of devotee according to their Bhava. You can remember the sloka I told? You can remember? Tvang, tvang bhakti yoga paribhavita hissaro yuasa se shotekshita patanonuna tapungsam jad jad dhyata uruga yabibhavayati tatta de bapu pranayase sadhanu gruhayo. Bhagavan can appear in front of you according to your bhava. The way you are thinking, somebody, somebody can. In Bhagavatam, fifth candy you can find. Tortoise, tortoise, Kurma Bhagavan is there. One, in one island, there. There is, you know, so many discussion there. So, somebody going to worship Baraha Bhagavan, somebody going to worship Nishinga Bhagavan, all there. In different way, Hanumanji going to worship King Purusha Varsha, where Hanumanji Maharaj worshiping with Arishta Sen, going to worship Ramchandra eternally. Yeah. So, all according to their mood of bhajan, according to the mood of their bhajan and bhavana, desire, bhava, bhava, Bhagavan can appear. Nathung Dagu also writing in Kirtan. 
according to your bhava, what you are doing in bhajan, that can appear in front of you. Bhajane bhavi be ja siddhi te pai In course of bhajan, what you are doing, that result you can get in ena siddha avastha. So try to be very, very alert. Don't waste your time and money. Don't waste. Time going. The kind of golden opportunity you are getting, I am sure you cannot get any. Next birth, next birth you cannot get. Don't be busy with some cheap, cheap sentiment. Don't be busy with very cheap sentiment. Like urine and stool. Why you are going to? Because we can spoil Guru Shiva, na? Just we can spoil Guru Shiva. Follow? We can spoil Guru, nothing else. Guru Shiva? I am doing Guru Shiva. You all cooperating with, but all can be disturbed. This can happen, nothing else. So don't give value to any cheap sentiment. Okay, whatever, I'm okay. Leave it. Try to look forward to do more seva. At all if you are interested. Try to throw, kick out all self-interest, everything, to come out successful. It is my apple to you. Now it's up to you to obey or not obey. Baddhaji satantra, what I can do? So now I like to discuss some point that Krishna, that Shambharaha, Shambharaha not going to give any response. And Hiranyaka speaking all rubbish. Hiranyaka speaking all rubbish, Shambhara not giving any response. Anyway, finally, when he is speaking all rubbish, then Shambhara was speaking, well, I am also searching, I am also searching such a foolish like you, who can die very shortly, and all jackals and vulture can eat your body. You can discover very shortly. I am also searching you. Well, after that, Shambhara is going to shed the earth in the axis, proper axis, proper axis, earth, going to place. After that coming, then Hiranyakyo like to put challenge in front of Bhagavan. I can kill you. So let, let us see who can kill whom. Eh? Who can kill whom? If you are a real hero, why you are going to praise yourself? A real hero, a real, a real hero never make any philosophy. Practically can so. So you are making philosophy only. Eh? Yes, then with club, like to beat Bhagavan. Doom. Bhagavan very easily, just like mosquito eating. <laughs> Nothing. Bhagavan. No problem. Bhagavan ignore. And then time to time is going to fight with Bhagavan. Bhagavan is not going to work. Because, why? There one very important point. Bhagavan not going to fight with Hiranyaka seriously. Titan under the inner meaning. Bhagavan not going to fight with Hiranyaka seriously. But whereas Hiranyaka fighting with Bhagavan seriously. Why? Why Bhagavan cannot fight? Because Bhagavan knows it is my parsa. In Vaikuntha parsa. He is my Bhagavan Bhagavan, joy, joy and be joy that one. So how I can fight with them? Bhagavan not fighting, Bhagavan playing with them. Eh? Bhagavan playing with them. We like with snack, like with snack some, you know, player, snack player, you know. They are playing. Sab is there, they are playing. <laughs> we know monkey, monkey playing from childhood. Two monkeys, they are one is lady, one is... <laughs> They are playing, oh, we are sitting, ah, oh, so nice. Hey, dust particle from road, in powder, <laughs> two face. Now marry. <laughs> I can remember, very small. I used to, very interested. Now monkey man, all boys coming. Oh, we can see. Give some donation, somebody can chapati this, that. You used to see. So this way, this way actually, Bhagavan going to play with him. Bhagavan not fighting seriously. But how you can fight? Because Bhagavan knowing is my parser. Now taking this form. Whereas Hiranyaka have no idea. He forget everything. That is why it is possible for him to fight with Bhagavan seriously. To kill Bhagavan. Now fighting going on for hours. 
fighting going on for hours. From morning time, fighting going on. Then Brahma, all demigods coming, they are all very anxious, very serious. What will happen? Bhagavan not fighting with Hiranyaka is properly. Um, what is this? Hiranyaka going to beat Bhagavan. Then Brahma finally going to uh, uh, pray in front of Baraha Bhagavan. Bhagavan, please try, try to fight. Please try to fight with him seriously. Because of we, Brahma is well, Brahma is well aware about the fact that Bhagavan is not going to fight because, because Bhagavan already having some affection for his, his disciple. No? Hey, uh, uh, is an uh, Paikunta Parshat. So Brahma is speaking one very special thing, which is very important. Only reading cannot give you any inner meaning. Those who are pure Guru Vaishnav, they have idea, IQ. They can understand. They can realize. Brahma is speaking one special thing. Brahma is speaking, Bhagavan, you try to, you know, Maya, Asrita, try to take shelter of Maya and then you kill him. Try to kill by the shelter of Maya. Not Yogamaya. Not speaking Yogamaya. By the shelter of, by the shelter of, I help of Maya. Now question is that it is insulting now. If some devotee is going to advise Bhagavan, Bhagavan, you can take shelter of Maya and kill him. Who are you to advise to Bhagavan? Bhagavan can kill or how to kill. That is all. Bhagavan is all knowledgeable, no? Infinity. Here is one point. Brahma have some affection, love, strong love for Bhagavan. Brahma is the disciple of Bhagavan. Brahma is the disciple of Bhagavan, no? Narayan, and coming in the form of Baraha. From naval portion, one stem coming out. And so Brahma is actually the son of Bhagavan. So have some tremendous love affair. So Brahma is going to request Prabhu, this way, if you fight with things for infinity pure, you cannot kill him. Because you have affection. You have affection, na. When you are going to beat, you can think he is my devotee. I am my person. So better, you can invite Maya, so that Maya, Maya, by the help of Maya, you can think that is my enemy. This kind of feeling, like fire, like fire, this kind of feeling must come inside you by the help of Maya. Then you can fight. That is the reason. Follow. Then Bhagavan. According to the prayer of Brahma, going to take shelter of Maya, and that in that case, purposely, Bhagavan then can realize as my enemy. Then big fighting took place, big fighting, big fighting took place, so big fighting, and Brahma going to uh, pray Bhagavan that eleven thirty and twelve. This is the appropriate time, Bhagavan. 11.30 over, night. If, 12 is, if 12 is going to be crossed, 12 is crossed, then the Asuri Vela, then demons, they can get great power. Now somebody can say, Bhagavan is weak, that, demon, that noon time 12 over, then demon can get more power. Like ghost, they are getting power night time 12 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock, getting big power. But daytime not getting power. Like owl, they are not getting power in the daytime. Nighttime getting power. It's a natural. Whereas all creation is in a, you know, running daytime, but owl cannot see anything. Owl, when sun god is there, owl cannot see, blind. Owl, you know, owl cannot see. Whereas everything, nobody can see, night time, darkness, then all can see everything else coming out, running here and there. So according to the nature of creation, you know, what to do? So Brahma praying to Bhagavan, Bhagavan, don't do delay, because 11, 11.30 now time, almost 11, you know, before 12, you must clean, 
Because 11.30 to 12, this time is very peak time, very good time. Follow, very good time. Vishwajit Mahurta, they can kill him. Prabhu, you don't know, he is making so much problem. All world, you know, whole creation, feeling disturbance due to this idiot. You please kill him. Then Bhagavan taking a serious turn to fight with Hiranyakyo and finally what happens? Bhagavan going to kick with the front hoof here. And Hiranyakyo finally going to leave body. Hiranyakyo going to leave body. One bumper. Big fighting going on. Finally Bhagavan going to give a punch here. All broken and is going to fall down and Hiranyakho gone, then all demigods started giving a pushpa, flower, flower, puspanjali, bara bhagavan ki jai hu, bara hadeep bhagavan ki jai hu, going to puspanjali. Follow. This way, today is a bara avatar, bara avatar de dadoshi, bara dadoshi, we honor it, but if Akadoshi we are following and after that next we are doing again fasting, then you can break Akadoshi. Because Akadoshi, those who are doing, they must follow parent time, appropriate parent time. If parent time is missing, if parent time is missing, then your Akadoshi finish. Akadoshi is not effective. So it is a rule set by our Sanatana Gosai, all Sastra, that continuously, two Pabas, continuously you cannot do. Or those who are really big, powerful, their body is very, they can do. First of all, Bharat Adashi, they are fasting. Fasting. Bharat Adashi fasting. And Anna, Akadashi, they are fasting. Bharat Adashi, they can drink one drop of water. And taking one drop of water is both fasting and non -fa not breaking fasting. Ah, okay. Then after that, next day, next day also you will have to do Akadashi. Then, my consider three days you will have to, three, four days Upavas. I mean, Akadashi is Upavas. Next day, Bharavadasi, today you would uh, take one drop of water, Parandan, like Ambarish Maharaj. And next day, I mean, Tayadashi day, again you are fasting whole day. So, consequently, three days fasting. So, our Guru Varga suggests, okay, Akadashi should not be ignored. Akadashi first priority. First priority should be given to Akadashi. Akadashi done. Next day you can take some, you know, Akadashi you can take fruits and flower or whatever you like. Next day you can take grain or anything. After that, Next day, you can do Ekadoshi, Tritanda uh, and still next day, you can do Para. This is good, because Kalikal man is very poor, very poor body health. If they are going to fast, they can die. They cannot do. I know. Anyway, by the desire of Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Gosai, I was feeling very okay. Very okay. I don't understand I am without water. I cannot feel. <laughs> Sometimes they are putting pressure. No, don't do. Sometimes I am doing. But they... Anyway, today, as a Barahav Dadasi, we should remember Barahav Dev. And uh, I am bound to stop here. Anyway, so the slok, you know, I started with, you must remember, whole life. Then you can hate your own body. You can hate your own body. You can concern in bhajan. Amit the Purne Kimikito Sankule, Shababa Durgandi Binindi Tantare, Kale Vare Mutre Purisha Bhavite, Ramanti Murha, Biramanti Panditaha. Those who are Murka, they are going to enjoy with this material body. They are Pandit, their eyes is open, they can understand this bondage and oh, Mukti, they never do. Anyway, one Chakalpaduru Sikh pass in the virtue. Patitanak Bhavanabho, Krishna, if you know. It is the nature of Vaishnava to forgive. forgive. It is the nature. You know, na, the man, you know, I help him to grow up. As now he is like to kill. Still I allow him. That the man from that 
They also fight with Gosala, excuse. So, Vaishnava and Vaishnavi, they should excuse. Any? They should excuse. If not excuse, then who can excuse? Material man can excuse. Material man cannot 